Welcome to this next video. In this video I'd like to share some thoughts on uh, some basics about ERP Next, more specifically navigating within ERP Next. So let's jump straight to my screen and you'll see uh, this is the screen if you log in. And to somebody that's new it might be very overwhelming but we'll share a few thoughts which will make that easier. I think before we carry on, it's perhaps a very good idea to ponder about what is ERP Next. Now, I'm not talking about the general definition of ERP Next as an ERP program, but more specifically, a little bit, little bit more detail. And I think if you're going to ask three people, you get a variety of answers, and somewhere in the middle, you you get the most accurate truth, if there is something like that. <laughs> uh, to me, it's a set of documents uh, that's managed within the Frappy framework, uh, with an underlying database, okay, and of course you've got associated code that manipulates all this data. So the doc type is very key uh, to the ERP Next environment. Doc types, uh, what is a doc type? A doc type is a purchase order, a purchase invoice, um, sales order, work order, production plan, etc. So these are the forms or documents or the methods. Uh, to input data to the system and of course also to display results to the user i.e. a report, production report a report that uh, shows the relation between the work orders completed and sales orders etc. So there's ways, doc types are also, also ways for the system to report information and feedback to the user. So it's very key to be able to find uh, doc types. The actual completion of the doc type once you start using them, you'll see it. it's actually not very, that's not the most complex in my mind um, to actually complete the doc type, uh, especially if you follow the flow. Now, what do I mean by that? Uh, if you look at buying, for instance, um, you've got a flow here, material request, purchase order, purchase invoice. So you start at one end and the next step is a purchase order. The next step is a purchase receipt or a purchase invoice. So you've got a certain flow and once you populate the first document and you generate the next document from within the previous, it brings along all the information. So you literally have to, once you've got a material request, you generate a purchase order, you just double check your items. Perhaps there's one you want to take off and one or two fields you want to confirm and then you say save and submit. So many of these flows are very um, simple to manage. Obviously you run through all the fields just to check that there isn't something that you need to modify or so on, but it's not a, a complex process. Uh, to me, it's the most important thing is to actually find the document in the first place. Now for somebody that knows ERP Next, there's a uh, buying purchase invoice. What's so difficult about it? Um, but really, I mean, if you log in for the first time, you, okay, well, where are these things? And that's why I thought to put together this, uh, put together this video. So, what are we presented with here? On the left-hand side, there's a left-hand menu with all the modules and the apps. All right. And for instance, we are now in buying. So, that's all the doc types for buying. All right. And similarly, there's one for accounting. There's all the accounting doc types, general, uh, Journal, general ledger, um, etc. All right, there's your chart of accounts and your company sheet, etc. Uh, so for each module here, you've got a workspace. This is called a workspace. Now in, in accounting, you've got a graph here, a profit loss graph. There's not much information here, it's just a test system. Uh, so there's not a graph here, but you can have a graph on top uh, on the top end of your workspace, just below that, you've got your shortcuts. All right, um, and just below that you've got a card. This is called a card. That's another card, and there's another card. There's a card heading, and within each card you define certain links. Now later on one can look at customization. I don't want to do that now. It's just going to complicate things. But you can actually customize this or even create your own workspaces. So you can go and create your own card and your links and stuff. So you'll see yeah, the chart of accounts is there and there. It's exa you, it links to the, exactly the same document. So why have it there? The whole idea is that you don't have to s scroll down. For instance, if you want gross profit, all right, um, you can put 
a shortcut link for gross profit here if it's the documents that you access often so i would suggest put a shortcut in for the documents that you access the most often all right so and that's why you how you the one way of finding documents is okay i want to see what the stock ledger looks like so you click on stock and there you see there's your st stock ledger all right now what the, the fact that it's called stock ledger uh, you get to know these things what is a very uh, nice tool and we get to the second way of finding a document is the awesome bar now the awesome bar is really awesome because now well, let's actually go out of stock and now you want to find stock oh that's not how you spell stock um, stock entry list stock um, uh, there's your report stock ledger it shows you all the possible docs or links um, that re relates to stock okay so that's another way of finding a document for instance purchase order list or purchase invoice list okay so that's another way of finding uh, doc types now another uh, interesting concept that assists you in finding documents which is very handy uh, I'm going to, sh going to show you from within manufacturing but it really is all over is for instance if you've got a production plan all right now I just want to If you click on a production plan, for instance, uh, and you want to find the associated work orders, it's in the connection section. All right. So you click um, on the work orders there. You, there you can see the associated work orders. Uh, there's two of them. You can add another one. That's what the plus is for. Uh, and there's no purchase orders related to this otherwise there would have been a one or a two or a three if there were one two or three purchase orders related to this production plan all right so to simply jump to the correct work order you just click on there and it shows you only those two work orders there's actually more work orders here but it only shows those two work orders and similarly in the purchasing cycle the sales cycle if you go to sales order you've got a connection section that shows all these links to um, to any of these uh, to a large per percentage of all these doc types they've got a link or, or a connection sorry a connection panel that shows all these links so it's easy once you're in at a material request you can find the work order you can find the job card you don't actually have to go to manufacturing and then go to work order and search now the filter is still ex active here but that's actually all the work orders here okay so when we when we when we look at the video for searching for information there is a way to actually if you're confronted with all the work orders to find a work order for or a particular job card for, for work order for a particular job card or whatever the case may be there is a way of do, doing that but keep in mind that with each document there's a connection panel that we that you can click on the associated work orders or uh, for instance a role permission on the role, uh, role profile configuration you can see which users are linked to the, to this role profile in the connection tab Right, so that's another way of finding the associated documents to the particular document that you have open. All right. So that's in essence um, a few thoughts on navigating. Oh, another thing, um, of course, is uh, if you click on the blue bar, I almost forgot this is this is I should have done this at the beginning. That drops you to the home menu. All right. So if you go to buying. And you go to purchase order, or hang on, um, if we go to manufacturing and we go to production plan and we open up a production plan, um, you can go back to the production plan list by simply clicking production plan. All right. Um, and then you can go jump back to manufacturing by clicking on manufacturing. All right, and of course you can go to the top level by clicking the ERP Next icon there. Okay, that's just a few thoughts.
few um, thoughts on uh, navigating in ERP Next. Hope you found that helpful. Hope to see you in the next video.